today is my favorite day. He has made it special for me. Has he made it special for you? I hope he has made it special for you. Ah, welcome to my class. We have very exciting things today. Thank you very much and welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Last week we talked about small and we said as small as a rat but we said as big as an elephant but today we are moving on to smaller which means the rat is small yes but there is something very small very tiny more than a rat so let's find out if i this is our rat this is small he sing this which color is this Wow, I like the blue because of the ocean. This year I think I'll visit the coast so that I can see the blue ocean. Uh-huh. And we compare this with our rat. What can you say about the two of them? Our rat was small. Are you seeing the rat? Assuming this is our rat, huh? But now we have something smaller than the rat. Probably what could this be? What is this thing that is smaller than the rat? Aha. Uh-huh. Maybe cockroach? Have you ever seen a cockroach? I know you've seen cockroaches even if it's not in your house, somewhere else you've seen cockroaches. Have you seen mosquitoes? Do you know the way they come slowly zzz, then you know sometimes you cannot see them. You just hear a sting and you wonder what is that? It's probably a mosquito that has bitten you. It comes at night and zzz, zzz, disturbs people at night and then it bites. So when you compare the rat and the mosquito, what can you say about the rat and the mosquito? The rat is small, yes. But do you know the mosquito is smaller? Can you compare? It is here. Coming, 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 then it bites. Because the rat could not even see it. But it was there. So today we want to talk about smaller and bigger. So if the rat if the mosquito is small then we are saying the rat is if the rat sorry if the rat is small the mosquito is smaller then we will find out next week what is the next thing that comes after the cockroach we will find out next week which word comes after smaller so when do we use the word small Small is just this when you're saying the rat is small. When do we use the word smaller? We use the word smaller with than. We use the word smaller with than. So probably I will say the rat, the, the cockroach is smaller than the rat. So next week we'll find out which other word, which other third word will come here to show that now this one is even smaller than the, the, the cockroach. Next week we are coming to find out which other word will come there. So when you look at these two tumblers, have a look at them. This is a yellow one and this is a green one. Yeah, this one is big. Do you know this one is big, but not as big as this one? Can we compare? Yes, look at them. Are you seeing? If I could be having water here and another one having water here, who could finish the first one? probably this one because this one is big but now this one is bigger can we compare the two of them yes so we are saying tumbler the green tumbler is big but now the yellow tumbler is bigger the green tumbler is big but the yellow tumbler is bigger so we are talking about big the green tumbler is big but now the yellow tumbler what happens is bigger the yellow tumbler is bigger and remember bigger is written with double g don't write it with a single g are we together so next week in the next lesson we're gonna find out what is the last word that will come there to show that now the the other tumbler is even bigger like the elephant even more bigger than the elephant are we together sometimes you have tanks in your homes there are those tanks that hold 500 liters there are those that hold 5,000 liters. Now, this is our tank. It holds 500 liters. 
you come, mommy bought another one. When it was the rainy season, mommy said, no, this 500 liters is not enough for our family. So he went and added and bought another one called 5,000 liters. Now we will see which other tank will mommy buy. Which other tank will mommy buy when our family now grows into a very big, big family? So this tank is big. Do you know this tank is big? Yes. What about this one? This one is bigger. This one is bigger. Now next week you're going to find out which other tank is here. Find out if Janet's tank wa was 500 liters and Jen's tank is 5,000 liters. What about Johnny's tank? What is the answer to Johnny's tank? Find out in the next lesson so that when we meet, we're going to know which other word will fall here. If you have the small, then you have the smaller one. What will happen in the next word? If we have big here and then the bigger one, now what will happen in the third word? So when you compare the two, you say, the Janet's tank is big, but Jen's tank is bigger than Janet's tank. When you come here, we'll talk about uh, Johnny's tank. Now, what about Johnny's tank? Go and find out. Visit Johnny's house and see how about their tank. Is it 50,000 liters? Is it uh, 5 million liters? We don't know what will happen to Johnny's tank. But go and visit Johnny's house and find out how big is their tank. Is it as big as Nani Janet's nani tank or as big as Jen's tank? Send to the, our rolls here. Are you seeing this one? It's still big. But now, when you look at this, when you compare the two of them, this one is big and this one is bigger. So in our next lesson, we want to find out what will happen to the third word. Are we going to rub it like that? Are we going to ignore it or are we going to add something to the second word so that it gives us the third word? That is all about today. I wish you well and I hope you'll keep on watching and listening to these beautiful lessons. Have a nice day.